like to, you know, be set apart. You know, it's it's easy to yes repent of your sins and um, be about Jesus, but you know to know, hey, I can't keep doing this sin. You know, I've I've acknowledged it. I got to move on, but um, to be on fire for the Lord and to walk with Him, I think right now, man, I'm all about hey. I'm living set apart from the world. People can think this about me or whatever. That's fine. The, the bottom line is for me, my identity is in Jesus. I get that, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with that. But it's not, hey, I'm better than you. No, it's I'm called to do this. I'm called to witness. I'm called to share the word. I have this knowledge, you know, um, of the Spirit, and I want to give it to as many people as I can. So, yeah, that's, I think what God has taught me in the past year. Um, I'd say I'm continuing to grow in that, and um, man, I just want to I just want to be able to witness and defend the Christian faith as best as I can. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is that this is a quarterback that's going to the NFC Championship that is speaking about Jesus boldly. He's proclaiming his faith. He's wearing his faith on his sleeve. Exactly what we're supposed to do. I love it. So if you're a believer, no matter what part of the world you're in or no matter what you do for work, remember, speak what the Lord tells you to speak and what he puts on your heart. Next, what he said is so important. What he said is true about being set apart from the world. And what that means biblically, according to the Apostle John, is to be set apart from the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. This means that if you do anything with the heart full of lust, the heart full of pride, that you're being like the world. So you can play football and have your heart on Jesus and not be like the world. However, you could be in the church. You can have a congregation full of people. You could wear a suit and a tie to every single service. But yet if your heart is full of lust and you're looking at other people in lust and you're prideful and self-righteous, you're being like the world, literally. Because the Pharisees did just that and they were like the world. Next, the importance of repentance. Repentance simply means to do a 180, not a 360, because you're back where you are, but a 180, turning from the practice of sin and turning to the face of the Lord. That's what repentance is. Notice, Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and know in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. When you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you are pledging allegiance to his lordship. And remember, it was Jesus that said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things that I say? In other words, when you call him Lord and you confess with your mouth that he's your Lord, you're pledging your obedience to his kingdom. This is not saying that you won't struggle with sin because you can struggle with sin. But there's a difference between struggling with sin and making a practice of these things. The Apostle Paul, when he talks to Christians, Christians, he says Christians that practice these things won't inherit God's kingdom. Pause, read, and ponder. Follow for more. Now the deadline to join is Sunday. I'm doing a three-day class on our authority in Christ. Detailed, PowerPoint style. On these subjects right here. And learning God's voice. To join, click that link.